Hey guys, it's uh, Slation04 here with Nate, and we're back on the server, and, uh, you know, Orange Carpet's still here, yeah. So, um, today we're going to do a couple of things, actually. I forgot to get something ready that I was meaning to, um, which is, um, well, I don't really know what we're going to actually be doing in Minecraft, but I do have a web page up with um some facts for Halo 5 as of the 29th of December so I'm gonna just pull those up really quickly yeah I mean my YouTube username is and my email that this is connected to are the name are the designation of the first Halo. Well, not the first one, but the first one that was discovered in the series. So um yeah. Oh wait, no, I need to have um to have my search tools on past month. Okay, just to warn you guys, some people aren't going to really like some of these. And I'll read them off to you if my freaking page will scroll. Okay, there we go. Hang on, I'm... I'm going to be going... I'm going to be attempting as best as I can to go through these. So my recording for people that are watching on my channel might be a little bit retarded for now. Actually, nay. Okay, there we go. Actually, on that note, I think I'm just going to stay in the house. Okay. So, the first set of facts is about the game. From their planning, the uh, campaign is going to be three to five times longer than Halo 4's, which would, I believe, make it also, and I'm not very happy about this, longer than Halo 2's, and that was kind of long. And it's also going to be, and it's also going to be non-linear. It's going to be open world, which is the current rumor going around. The other, the next one is that. Master Chief, as a lot of people have known, and I believe 343 has hinted at, has gone rogue. He has his own ship and can actually use that ship to visit different planets. They have six to eight planned. Each planet is going to have several regions with main objectives and several side missions. The core gameplay is still going to be like Halo's. Two weapons, grenades, and melee. 30 seconds of fun style battles where, you know, there's just enough enemies to have 30 seconds of true combat and then a little bit of, you know, just killing survivors, hunting. And there's going to be multiple different enemies in each battle. But there are going to be RPG elements added. Like, there's going to be character progression, which is going to be mostly in the form of items like Forerunner Relics that you will find that make the Master Chief stronger or enhance his abilities or give more of them to him. With no, there's not going to be loot. It's not going to be like Borderlands. Yeah. Well, it's not really ranks, though. It's, it's more like, um, you know in Borderlands, how their, or Borderlands 2 has theirs be on relics? Yeah. Yeah, it's like those. Um, 
there is going to be it also you will have to acquire weapons as you go on before you can use them in other missions the ship has an armory that the weapons are stored in and he can choose his loadout before he goes onto a planet which he will use on the mission start when he goes to the planet you can still pick up and find weapons in the different missions loadout weapons are basically the same you have in Halo 4 multiplayer you can't start with a rocket launcher but you can call in those super weapons on a mission like in Infinity Multiplayer. Like difference? Yeah, it's like ordinance. Difference is the is the only difference is this is a limited ability. At a low level, you can call one time, but this can be upgraded over time. So I guess there is going to be kind of like a ranking system with skill trees, maybe even. Like Albeit, system. yeah. Except you pick the skills you want. It, or, I don't think you're going to actually be able to pick the skills. But it sounds like you're at least going to unlock skills that are set to unlock at a certain level. Kind of like, um... Kind of like in, uh... I don't know, some Halo fans aren't going to like this. In, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, when you level up while using sniper rifles, over time you'll unlock new ghillie suits for different environments. Like, I think the first one you get is urban for um, city areas, and then you get, like, snow and all kinds of stuff. But, anyways, there will be more weapons in the campaign than in Halo 4, and that means more alien weapons. Not just human weapons with a different coat or skin. Next is the enemies. The elites. There's going to be elites. The same group of elites that you fought in Halo 4. There's going to be grunts, jackals, hunters, and drones, and brutes are all that's confirmed. I personally could do without the brutes. I hate them. They're stupid and annoying. They're pain in the ass on easy. <laughs> yeah, they can be. I mean, if you have an energy sword, you're fine, but anything above easy... They start, they go berserk and they start hitting you, you can't do shit, you're dead. The next group of enemies is going to be the Prometheans again. They're going to be extremely redesigned. There's going to be more types of them, and I think they're going to get rid of some of the kind of annoying stupid things that they did. Like teleporting away when you take down their shields to regenerate their shield. What night? Johan Legendary, uh, the knights use that attack where it's like, that's so gay. Yeah. Um. They're teleporting, that they would do. Yeah, that, yeah, they're at least gonna make them so that way they can still teleport, but if they teleport, it won't regenerate their shield. Well, not on Legendary. On Legendary, actually, they had a code in there that made it so that way, on Legendary, when they teleported, like... Well, no, if they teleport on Legendary, and they have less than half shields, it will only allow their shields to regenerate to half. So, on anything more than Legendary, or on Legendary... They actually, if they're, if you take down their shields and they teleport, they can only have half of their shield. And of course, since the Master Chief has gone rogue, the last enemy is going to be humans again. It's going to be interesting. Then there's the vehicles. It's going to have the largest vehicle count of any Halo ever made. There's going to be Warthogs, there's going to be the Classic Warthog, the Rocket Warthog, and the Goss Hog, the Scorpion, and yes, as seen in Halo Wars, the Grizzly will also be in it. You know the tank that's got two guns instead of one? It's going to be that. The Mammoth, 
There's going to be an upgraded Mantis. There's going to be the Rhino, which, if you played Halo Wars, you'll, I believe that was in Halo Wars. I'm not sure. Um, there's going to be the Wolverine from Halo Wars, the Cobra from Halo Wars, Hornets, Falcons, and Vultures, also from Halo Wars. A lot of Halo Wars stuff, which I'm happy about. I like the game. Some people might say that I'm stupid for that, but it was good. They also confirmed that, uh, April, I not... The Hawk. That's, that's the, um, Vultures. Vultures are a little bit different. Um, actually, did... Rotary machine guns. Yeah, that's the hawk. Um, the vulture is very different. It has it's like a what a wolverine is is it's like this vehicle that's like um, it can fire volleys of rockets at things. It's really good against um. It's an anti-air vehicle mainly, but it's really good against um ground targets too. If you if you have one that's equipped with the rocket volley. And the um, vulture is like that, except it can fly, and it's almost indestructible, and it also has machine guns on it. It's a um, it's what they it's what they describe as an Uber unit, like um, like for the Covenant in Halo Wars, the um, Scarab is an Uber unit. Takes some, um, I believe it takes twenty out of your normally around forty uh base um population. Um, the, uh, Vulture takes pretty, takes only five, and does a lot less damage. A Scarab can destroy it pretty easily, but I'll be damned if a Vulture isn't possibly one of the best things in the world in Halo against ground troops, against vehicles, against other aircraft, and against, um, Covenant buildings. So I, I, I'm kind of excited to see how they're going to implement the Vulture into um online gameplay and into campaign because it is a very overpowered ship. It it's extremely powerful. Um so the Master Chief ship is going to only be able to store a certain amount of vehicles and you can call them in kind of like weapons. There's gonna be a new um let's see here. There's gonna one of the new types of foreigners is called a war sphinx. Which is kind of like, it's, it's kind of like an automaton, almost. Like it, it's a robot, pretty much. It's not like the Prometheans. But it, it's a, it's a, like a robot guard. Damn it. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, minor disturbance there. Um, so, uh, Let's see here. Where was I? So yeah, the um, the Forerunner War Sphinx is are in the are in Forerunner vehicles, and they they're um. It says here. It's kind of confusing what it says. It says for Forerunner War Sphinx are in very powerful enemy vehicles that add diversity to player AI encounters. Oh yeah, I remember what they are. They're like um. They're kind of like um ODSTs, except they're forerunners, so they don't have drop pods. They just kind of like fly around in space in their suits and stuff, and then they'll randomly fly down and attack you. And yeah, they're really annoying. So um, let's see here. So this is a um, this is something from three forty three. It says. To put the campaign experience into perspective, the team was running an encounter test in the Halo 4 engine with prototype models. This encounter featured, featured several hundreds of brutes with two scarab tanks, ten wraiths, and several ghosts and banshees fighting against one forerunner war sphinx and some Prometheans. Now the player could engage in that battle or just simply watch them fight. Um, let's see here.
I don't even know what that means. Um, could watch them fight and pick off the remaining forces. While the current, well, the current player chose to engage, took his hornet and landed it on one of the scarabs. The brute, the AI, the AI, by the way, is amazing. The brutes had now chose who to fight. Most forces fought against the Prometheans, and a few took on the fight with the chief. It really looks and feels like every single AI makes smart and meaningful decisions. Those are the kind of encounters you will find in the final game. So pretty much, you might actually have points where if there's a group of humans and a group of elites fighting, and you go into that area, they'll all turn in, they might all, like most of them might decide that you're the bigger threat at first. Kill y attack you first, and if they somehow kill you, go on fighting each other. Or, the humans might see you retreat, bringing the elites with them, and then you can either just go by and not have to deal with them, or you can pick them off from behind. So, now here's a multiplayer. It's called Halo War Arena. It's split between two categories. It's pretty much Halo 2. Like, it's a reloaded version of the Halo 2 multiplayer. It's got no loadouts, no armor abilities, and no perks. It's... 8 to 16, it's 8 to 16 players. Game types are Slayer, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, Assault, Oddball, Static Weapon Spawns, more weapons on map, which means more ammo. Weapons won't respawn as quick as in Halo 4. In the second category, host big team battles of 32 to 64. That's the first category. War Arena is no loadouts, is Halo 2. So then there's Big Team Battle. Gameplay is more in line with Invasion from Halo Reach, with custom loadouts, armor abilities, vehicles, and infinity like callings, so ordnance. Well, Nate, this is all rumors right now. Yeah, but I mean, just think of it like I'm SWAT, except with the shield. Also, the, um, the rumor about, um, about them having a, uh, a game called Halo New Beginnings, those photos, those screenshots from Halo New Beginnings were photoshopped. Yeah, a lot of people don't though. A lot of people are still going around saying, you know, I can't wait for Halo New Beginnings to come out. And they don't seem to be able to accept that it's, um, you know, it's a, it's fake. It was a hoax. Okay, I'm gonna actually, I'm actually loading into the, uh, into 343's actual website. Um... Yeah, I know, and I have to go pretty soon. Frickin' mom, pain in the ass. I think she's home, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna release this video, I think. But um, yeah. So uh, I'll be back later. I'm I'm kind of just like surprised by some of the stuff that they're thinking that's going around about Halo Five. So I'll be back later. Um, sorry about the shortened, uh, outro here, extra, whatever the hell. But, um, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.